Hi, I'm Michael Kirby, and this is my presentation on the history of theater. First off, we have Greek theater. Um, it was 600 BC through 600 AD. Uh, it was a development of tragedy with protagonists and antagonists. Uh, there was a lot of comedy, which served as, as an escape from reality. Uh, it also, uh, the Greek civilization also brought script writing into, um, into the picture of theater, which was a big movement. Uh, we also had uh, Roman theater, which was very similar to the Greek theater, and uh, it developed uh, some new forms of theater, such as mimes and satyrs. Next off, we talk about the English, or I'm sorry, the Italian and English Renaissance, which uh, was from 600 to 1500 AD. Uh, it had the idea of liturgical drama, so it had a very moral and Catholic approach. It also had mystery, miracle, and morality plays. Uh, later into that came Shakespeare, who uh, had who brought a lot of different plots into his playwrights, which uh, consisted of murder, death, and revenge. And then some comedies began to rise later in that era. Next, we have neoclassicism, which was roughly 1550 through 1570 AD. Uh, it had effects on Western European drama that lasted for over 200 years, so that significantly shaped things in theater. Uh, it also had verisimilitude, which dictated plays that would actually show truth and real life connections in a play. Um, Shakespeare is also very popular still during this time. Next, we have uh, English Restoration, which was between 1600 and 1850 AD. Uh, this time was a lot of change around then because women were finally allowed on stage. There were more, uh, more inappropriate scenes, per se, allowed. There was even rape scenes that were now allowed in plays, which was crazy. Uh, there's more comedy. Um, comedy actually reached its peak during that time of theater. And there's also mel melodrama, which began to develop in a lot of plays. Then we have modern drama, which was between 1800 and 1850 AD. Uh, during that time, melodrama was still rising. Playwrights uh, started to add the scientific method and just other real life philosophies into things, and uh, which leads into them just striving for that real life connection in their plays now. Um, and it also in the, uh, later on involved, um, influenced symbolism around 1885 AD and then um, expressionism came from that in about 1910. So that is my history of theater right there. I hope you enjoyed my presentation. Hope you take a more thorough look into my PowerPoint because has a lot of other information. Thank you.